Hello everyone, my name is Tanja and I'm with Calcasieu Parish Public Library. Today, in honor of Black History, we're going to talk about Mr. Garrick Morgan and we're going to also create a craft and that is the stop sign, which was called, originally called, a traffic signal. Today we call it the traffic light, but we're going to do that craft and have fun with it guys. start making our project. This project shouldn't take you more than seven minutes, 10 minutes to make. But I want your project to be safe and fun. So as you can see, I put an actual glass in the project. But I was just testing for the actual circle. But for safety reasons, I want you to use the plastic cup. So we're gonna take this one out the frame and we're gonna use the plastic cup. Take your cup, put your pencil and go around. Hold the top and circle around. If you need mom or dad to hold the cup for you so it doesn't move, ask someone for help. So you're gonna take the rim of the cup and make a circle. I have done that on all of the red, green, and yellow pages. So we're gonna cut them out. Once we cut them out, we're going to actually put them on the black sheet. And we're going to narrow down our black sheet to make it look similar to this traffic signal. We're going to glue our dots to the paper. If you don't have glue, use tape. And the only reason I have this ruler is so I can measure my sides so my line of my stoplight or traffic signal will be equal. So, are you ready? Let's get started. Okay guys, right here you're going to take and you're going to start cutting your paper. You're going to cut your red. That's why you have extra paper if you mess up. Make your circle and proceed to your yellow. Take your time. If you need mom or dad's help, ask for help. Then you're going to cut your green. Once you cut your green, you're going to take and put them in order by red, yellow, and green. Remember the process. You're going to take and cut out your circles. And you see how it looks on this big sheet of black paper? That's why I said we're going to narrow down our sheet so it can actually look like a traffic signal. But remember I showed you the pattern of the traffic signal? And then now we have all this extra paper. That's for the little brother or sister so they can tear it up. And then once they tear it up, they can put red, yellow, and green. Right? Give them that project so you can do yours. Now that we have the circles, I haven't glued anything yet, but we can take and cut our paper. So the easiest way to do it is move your dots over and we're gonna cut one side. So my little table has a line in the middle, so I'm gonna use it as an extra ruler. So, I'm going to take and make it perfect, draw my line. Now that I have my line, I'm going to cut it. Once I cut it, then I'm going to bring out my glue and my tape. And I am going to make my traffic signal. It's going to be so cute. Now this paper is too small for that traffic signal. So, remember that can be for the brother or sister so they can make their traffic signal. This is gonna be your traffic signal. We're gonna put our red, our yellow, and our green. Why in that order? Because when Mr. Garrett Morgan made the stop signal, the traffic signal, we call it the traffic light. 
he saw an accident and he wanted to prevent anyone else from getting an accident. So he wanted everybody to stop. Ready to stop. Yellow is yield. So pay attention. And then your green is go. So that's why green is at the bottom because he first wanted everybody to pay attention with their red, then yellow, yield, and then green. So now I'm going to take my glue and I'm gonna take and rub the back and put it on my paper. And make sure it's even in the middle so you have even on the sides. If you need a little bit more glue, put it on your black portion and hold it down. Sometimes you can take your cup and put it on there. Then you're gonna take your yellow and do the same. Put it in the middle, yellow's in the middle. Put your glue. And then you're gonna take your green. Put your glue. And guess what, guys? You have just completed your actual traffic line. Just remember all the things you need. You need your pencil, you need your ruler, you need your scissors. If you don't have glue, you can always use tape and do the extra for your brother or sister so they can be happy too. Thanks, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this project. Just remember, February is Black History Month, but we can always learn it all the time, guys. Have fun. See you next time.